Okay, fellas, welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, this is uh, <clears throat> jumped in, COVID-19 style. Quiet as a mouse here, folks. Absolutely not a lot going on. But you can see there's still a little bit. Look, construction over there, a few cars and that. None of these places are open at all. Look, even the massage parlor, totally closed. And uh, where we're going today is down there, the seaside. But it's a while since you've been to the sea, right? Well, you know, it's a special treat for your lockdown. Let's go and have a look, see what's going on down there. See up there, going into low season, clouds in the sky, a few threatening ones. They're, uh, I believe they're threatening a little bit of uh, rain, possibly some thunder and lightning. Let's see how that goes. And you can see a lot of these fantastic little places. Look, noodle shops, you still do takeaway food but just about everything else is closed. Oh look, still got a haircut. Need a haircut, cut my own hair personally. But this place, absolutely fantastic. Bloody clothes as well though. So I gotta keep this uh, this uh, mask on because uh, outside at all times. See over there, beautiful old Thai style house. Absolutely beautiful though. Over there, look. Guest houses, wine cellars, loads of awesome stuff. Over there, seaside just on its way. So, uh, yeah, this is my neighborhood. It's uh, just south of uh, Pattaya City. Next town down the coast is called uh, Jom Tien. And my neighborhood's uh, kind of the village between the two. It's uh, really useful because you get you know the best of best of all worlds. You get plenty of tourists for us dive instructors. It's the uh, second or third busiest place for tourists uh, scuba diving in Thailand. Got loads of shipwrecks to dive on, which is awesome for us uh, for us uh, fans of shipwrecks and whatnot. And we've also got loads of uh, loads of nightlife. Any of your shopping, you can get immediately done. If you're, uh, oh look at that. If you're into films and so on, first films, uh, as soon as the film comes out, it's out in the cinemas. You can even get a beer, drink it while watching the movie. Beer or three or four, no smoking there. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just absolutely fantastic. Love this place. But uh, most of all, I like the seaside atmosphere. See, so, yeah, we're getting closer and closer. All this stuff. Beautiful little guest houses. Not too high rise. Look, we've got the uh, places for the wealthy people as well. Little golf carts. So, all kinds of uh, <laughs> all kinds of people who might be uh, getting rides from the uh, from their hotel. Hi, Hello. Hello, sorry, you okay? Yeah. And of course, it's has been in Thailand. A lot of very friendly people. All that food. Look, seaside stuff. There it is, showing up. See anything from kind of shanty to expensive billion plus baht, high rise properties. Of course, this being Asia, loads of these little motorbikes. And uh... okay, here we are, folks. Uh, made it to uh, beside the sea. Uh, my favourite time of year. Why? Because it's so atmospheric. Look at that. Storm clouds gathering over the horizon. Not too hot. Not too dry. This is the wet season. The rainy season. The uh, big. Uh, Big stormy season, as I like to call it in Thailand. And uh, let's have a look around. This is the seaside. Some beautiful rocks here with uh, rock oysters on them. Don't recommend eating them though. Over there we've got Lan Island, hot Lan. Sebastian's been there before. And off to the right there we've got Sack Island, hot Sack. Very nice, beautiful turtles there. And just before you probably can't see it very well, but there's Kok Krok. Over there we've got Kok Klumbadan, Kok Man Wichai. And right over there, Ko Rin. Ko Rin's a great place to dive. You can probably just about. Finally, 
down to the south we've got the uh, the naval protected area of Same San. there's a big naval base there and uh, we often go there for uh, doing shark release and uh, shoulder nose ray releases on so let's just have a, a quick look around see here we've got the beach behind me and beautiful high rises Fantastic panorama. Imagine, imagine painting that the beautiful skyscape there. The old flash of lightning and looking above us. It's gonna get really, really, really wet and windy and rainy and stormy very, very soon. So we're gonna nip on back along the beach here. Nip on back to uh, shelter. Uh, see lots of people. So I stand down there. Look at those storm clouds, eh? That small one rushing through. Fantastic stuff. People harbouring themselves to shellfish along the shore there. Some people not got enough to eat at the moment. It's pretty sad. And uh, gonna go snorkeling around here soon because I reckon there's a bit of coral down there somewhere. Water quality doesn't look too bad. You know what they say about storms, folks? Don't stay under a tree during a storm, okay? Even, even if it's a bloody coconut tree like that one over there. Okay, uh, if you look up, up there, you probably just about see the rain starting to fall. If you look over there, you might see a bit of lightning over Kolan. I'm gonna get out of here because it's getting really, really, uh, gonna, it's gonna start raining any second. I might talk to this young lady first, see what she's up to. And, uh, well, good luck, folks. Have fun, stay safe. Stay find somewhere nice and dry to sit down. It's all happening in Thailand here folks. Literally one or two minutes after, uh, five minutes after I finished the last video hanging around with some, some Swedish wakeboarder and uh, only cops came and shut down the beach. So now we're not even allowed to walk along it anymore. Closing the whole thing down. Very bloody sad. Still, it's wet season, so yeah, a few storms going on. Look at that. Another gallery. <laughs> 